there. I'm here to give you your Tampa Bay real estate market update. My name is Jillian Jamison. I'm with the Jamison team at Likely Real Estate, and I'm going to be showing you statistics from the Florida Realtor Organization for the entire Tampa Bay area, which is Pinellas, Hillsboro, Pasco, and Hernando County single family home sales. The most up-to-date information is from the month of November, 2022. These statistics just came out. So I am going to share my screen to show you what has been going on in the real estate market. So I'm gonna start off with closed sales. As you can see here, um, closed sales have gone down quite a bit, uh, over 37% in November. Um, there were 2,839 closed sales compared to 4,535 last November. The one thing to keep in mind is 2021 was not a normal year in real estate. There was a lot of real estate sold that year. That was not a typical year of a normal real estate market. Right now, we are going back into a normal real estate market. So that is part of the reason why we see a um, decreased in closed sales on the market. Um, going down to median sales price, last month, if you caught my market update, I talked about how in October it was the first sign of prices stabilizing. We had two months in a row at 400,000. Well, we did see a decrease again in November. So the median sales price went down to 395,000. However, we are still up over 11% from last November. So we're still up year over year. We're just down month over month. You can see the height here was in June at 418,000, and it has um, continued to decrease each month um, in November. One thing to keep in mind as well is that interest rates did go up pretty high last month. Um, they have since dropped a little bit, so that I'm sure um, played a role in the pricing as well. So um, we will see what happens moving forward with pricing, so we will keep you posted. Going down to median time to contract, it is taking a longer time for home for homes to sell to sell. In November, it was 27 days. This is how long it takes for a home to receive an accepted offer once it goes on the market. So 27 days. And again, that's just a sign that we're going back to a more normal market. Last year it was seven days. Homes were flying off the market last year. That's not normal. A normal market does take a few months for homes to sell. So we're at 27 days right now. And um, last thing I want to talk to you about is just inventory. So we have a lot more inventory this November compared to last November, almost 150, 150% 150 increase, which is insane. That's a big increase. So that's a really, we needed inventory. Inventory was an issue last year. It made it next to impossible to purchase a home. So having the inventory is a good thing. Just keep in mind that this is not all new active listings coming on the market. We have this inventory because it is taking listings longer to sell and the homes are sitting on the market longer, which brings me down to my next point, which is new listings that came on the market in November was 3,610 new listings. That was less than November, 2021. So we actually had more listings come on the market in November, 2021, um, so it kind of just all goes together. That's part of the reason for the lower closed sales, part of the reason for the inventory on the market. So it all kind of goes together. Um, and all of it is basically just back to say that we're going back into a more normal real estate market. So if you're in the market to buy and it's the right time for you to purchase a home, uh, then right now there's some real good advantages of purchasing a home. There's less competition, less buyers out there. There's more inventory to choose from. You don't have to waive every contingency like you did in 2020 and 2021. So it's definitely a lot um, less stressful to purchase a home right now. Um, there's less hoops that you have to jump through and you have more power when purchasing a home, more negotiating, negotiating power with the seller, which is always a good thing. If you are thinking about selling your home, you did not miss the boat. I just showed you that you there's still a ton of equity in homes from last year, year over year. So um, if you purchased your home in 2021 or before, you probably have a decent amount of equity in your home still. So if it's time for you to capitalize on that equity, uh, you know, don't be... Uh, don't be feeling like you missed the boat because you still have a lot of equity in your home. So if you have any questions at all real estate related, 
um, feel free to reach out to us. We're happy to help be a resource for you, answer any questions. And of course, if you're in the market to buy or sell a home in the Tampa Bay area, we would love to assist you. Again, my name is Jillian Jameson. I'm with the Jameson team at Likely Real Estate, and we are opening the door to your next home. Have a great day.